Hey everyone, Hey Drug Love Homestead here. Um, I want to do a quick update on the rabbit thing that we were doing, the colony. Um, this is going to be a very quick video, I'm hoping, because it's fixing to start a storm in here, I think. In Texas, we haven't had any rain, they're all a little shaky because of the wind. But this is all the rabbits in their new area. It's a really big area. Um, I don't know if y'all can see, but we put 10 down on the bottom. I put 10 down on the bottom so that they can't get out. No babies can't get out. They have waterfalls. They've got houses they can get under. They're fixing to need them, I'll tell you that. I accept the rain. Let it come on, baby. We need that rain. Our, everything here is dry and hot. And we are over it. I'll tell you that. But, yeah, rabbits can go here. We've got a house here, a house here. There's a lot of different kind of rabbits in this thing. So hopefully we'll be able to breed them. Be able to use their, their meat and their pelts for things. Closer to being a little bit more self-sufficient because nowadays you don't know what the government's feeding you. But anyways, it was just gonna be a really quick video. I'm gonna, out here, I want to tell y'all, I just got my milking stand. It's in this building that's right here. It's supposed to be in a greenhouse. We're gonna use it for a milking house. But the goats can go in there and the animals can go in there in case if it does start raining on them. Because or the chickens can come up here. I still gotta put a roof right here. I just haven't had time to do it today. But yeah, the rabbit colony is great. It's doing really good so far. Nobody has gotten out. Nobody's tried to get out. There was some fighting earlier between the males, but that's normal for males. Um, let me see if I can get y'all out of this gate without you falling sideways, like always. Okay, we're stuck. Stop that. But, yeah. Okay, sorry. But yeah, this is what it looks like on the outside. Hopefully it doesn't fall over with the wind. That's what it looks like on the outside. But you like I said, just got some tin on the bottom just so the babies don't get out. Um, it's got some tin on top so they have shade clearly. That one end is going to get uh, put more uh, chicken wire on top so nothing can go down in there. I just wanted to kind of get it up and going. I have them in our back house and it's a little stinky back there so it, it was time for them to kind of move out and stuff. But yeah, everything's kind of moving forward on the farm. Uh, Frankenstein is going to be going, he's our male pig, he's going to be going in the freezer in October. Um, he got aggressive with me the other day and tried to bite me. But we're gradually, slowly trying to get out of pigs anyways. I think what we want to do is just get one feeder pig a year, put him in the freezer and just do it that way. Um, but uh, I forgot to tell you also, Mocha had three little babies. He got two girls and one boy. He had Vader, Lily, and Elizabeth. Is what we're gonna name him. Um, Bader, I will be keeping him because he's the cutest thing ever. He's black and white. Because eventually our Billy, he will be going bye bye also, whether in a trade or in the freezer or whatnot. Um, he's a little too aggressive for me. I don't like that. And I'd rather have a male that doesn't have horns. Eventually, I would like to go to a herd that is pulled. I would really like that. Um, don't knock that down. And all, every, all the girls and the boys, they got collars except for two it doesn't fit them they're too small right now but yeah everything's kind of slowly slowly going um i don't really think we're gonna get any of that rain i bet we just got a burst of wind and that was about it but um actually let me take you and show you my uh milking stand they wouldn't have been able to go in there anyways door closed if it would have started raining so we're gonna open it up went down to the ground guys that stinking thing keeps doing that but this is the inside of this room it's just made of old windows it does need some work i'm gonna paint it eventually i'm waiting till fall comes because we have a lot of stuff to do in the fall um that's our milking stand i've never had one before this is going to be interesting so i've never had one and the goat none of my goats know how to be on a milking stand so we're going to start working with the babies and make sure that the little babies learn how to get up here and they've already knocked that off so that's great that's not okay i've had that bigger well, i have to get bigger screws for that um but yeah it's really neat i like it you're gonna paint it weatherproof it and paint it and make it look nice and see who wants to practice and who doesn't and goats that don't want to practice well we'll just use their babies and teach them so i know freckles was over here freckles come here 
You wanna come over here? Freckles was over here, but she's too she's too short for this. So I don't know if this can be adjusted or if I have to just build a whole nother one. But yeah, that's one more step to being self-sufficient, like having our own milk, making our own cheese. I will use it for soap. I already make soap now, but I buy soap from a friend of mine. But yeah, I would like to be able to use the milk for that, for such things like that, you know, making sour cream and yogurt, you know, and all kind of different things. Because um, eventually, like I say, eventually from work, I will be going part-time eventually. So I will have more time to do these things. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited about my milk and stone. Milking stone. I love it. And if it can hold me, it can hold any guy. I love this thing. Found a lady on uh, Facebook, we're in a Facebook group, and asked if anybody had a milking stand, and ta-da, there she is. Milking stand. But, yeah, well, I'm excited. That's one of the things I'm excited about. And then we're going to be ordering our dirt. Excuse me, this thing's probably going to fall again. I'm really bad at this, if y'all can't tell. But, anyways, we're going to be ordering the dirt pretty soon for our garden on that side. And for the greenhouse and stuff like that. And we'll be ordering some more cans and stuff, you know, for canning and stuff like that. And, um, like I say, just one more step to being self-sufficient. Sorry, I had to fix the leg on the tripod. But, yeah, actually, today actually feels pretty good. Um, round bell's coming tomorrow or Tuesday for the goats. They have a little bell that we bought. They're going to deliver it to the trucks in the shop. Hey, 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 quit that. You're a new duck on this side. You better not even start that. Lady gave me three Muscovy ducks. I love Muscovy ducks, but I don't know what's wrong with these guys. These are, you know, active, or as we're going to call it, active. You know, stop chasing that lady. view of the sky that's the wind it blew it completely over but yeah at least hopefully we'll get some rain you can smell it it just needed to start raining y'all better go in that building but anyways guys you can like and subscribe see how our journey goes come on come on come on like and subscribe these videos i mean you know eventually it's going to be getting cooler cooler and cooler and we'll be able to do a lot more things outside and have more videos and hopefully a better tripod. Mm -hmm. But like and subscribe, guys. Click the notification button. You know, it's really cool. And most of y'all watch me. And, you know, whoever don't watch me, you should be watching me because it's cool. But, yeah, like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Bye.